Now, there is a very small chance that exams could be cancelled in 2022. And if that happens, then teacher assessed grades will be used. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. However, personally, I am 99.99% sure that the summer exams are going to go ahead as usual. That's because more people have had the vaccine, restrictions are easing, and I do not see them cancelling the 2022 exam series, either for GCSE, AS or A-level. However, there has to be some contingency in place. And the contingency plans, I find it very hard to say the word contingency, the contingency plans have been released. This is government guidance from Ofqual. Um, there's a link beneath this video where you can find out more if you want to download the whole thing yourself. So basically, I've got this guidance. Um, I just want to go through it to let you know what the contingency plans are. Firstly, though, um, and it does say in the government advice that uh, students should expect to take exams in the summer of 2022. That's what you've got to be planning for. That's what all of your revisions should be building up to. And if you want to see the exam dates, they have all been released now. You can just Google them. And you can find out when all of your exams are going to be in May and June this summer. So information that we already know. Well, if you're doing GCSEs or AS levels, then you will be given advance notification about some of the topics which are likely to come up. And this means you can really focus your revision. And the deadline for that, when they're going to be released, will all be by the 7th of February. OK, the other thing, especially if you're doing GCSE physics or GCSE combined science, is that you will be given um, a sheet of all the equations that you might need to use in the exams. So you're going to be given your equations, your formula um, in GCSE maths and also GCSE physics, which is good. Um, the other thing about grade boundaries, and it says here, um, is that the grade boundaries are going to be set so that more students uh, receive higher grades. And this is compared to the students who sat exams in 2019 and before. So that means there's going to be more people getting grade nines, more people getting A stars um, at GCSE or A level, which is going to work to your benefit if you're doing exams this summer. You still need to know the physics. You still can't think, well, this is going to give you an easy ride. If you want the top marks, there's a lot of work that you have to be doing, but the grade boundaries are going to reflect the fact that there have been massive issues with this pandemic. Um, other bits of information here talk about the fact that teacher assessed grades could be used if the exams were cancelled. And that then means that um, things are going to maybe change very slightly for you over the next few months. Ultimately, though, all of the changes are going to get you better prepared for any exams which might be coming up. So what's it say here? Um, yeah, basically, uh, you will be assessed um, and like any kind of mock exam, you don't know the questions in advance. Also, uh, you need to be working independently and also look, not be looking at your books or revision notes. So basically, it's just going to be some normal kind of mock exams that you're doing in school. And this is important. Uh, during your assessments, so any mock exams that you have coming up, um, if you're doing combined science and physics, then you should have access to the formula and equation sheets. So that means you don't have to remember them for the mock exams which you have coming up from now on. And what it says here is some guidance saying that if teacher assessed grades were used, there has to be some evidence that your teachers have gathered. And this could include, and this is a sensible approach, is that you might be doing uh, a mock exam in school in the second half of the autumn term, maybe in the spring term next year, and also in the first half of the summer term. So... I suspect this means that you might have a few more mock exams in school. And again, you can read all the information if you really want to in the document. But ultimately, this is really for teachers so they know what they've got to plan in over the next few months. So if you've done three official mocks at school, that gives your teachers plenty of evidence in which to base their centre assessed or their teacher assessed grades on. Um, it does say as well, of course, that teachers should guard against over-assessment. Now, to be honest, your teachers don't want to be giving you endless mock exams because that means they have to mark them. And if they're marking for all of the students in year 11 and year 12 and year 13, that is a huge amount of work for the teachers to do. So I don't think you're going to be given five or six mock exams. You're going to get the three mock exams, which, to be honest, that often happens anyway, because you might have end of unit tests, you might have mock exams in the autumn term, 
And often when I've been a teacher, you'd give students mock exams in the run-up to their real exams. So I don't think this is really drastically different to a normal year, like back in 2019 or 2018. And the thing is, as, an, as a student, the, the advantage that you have now is that you're going to be very used to doing exams. So if you've done lots of assessments under exam conditions where you've had to revise for them, that's going to really help you prepare for your real summer exams which are coming up in 2022. The other thing that uh, I wasn't aware of is, is that it says down here that if you're going to be doing a mock exam, students must be told before they take each assessment that their performance in it would be used as part of the evidence to determine a tag if exams are cancelled. So now this guidance has been released, if those mock exams could be used to inform the teacher assessed grade, your teacher should let you know about that beforehand. So you know that when you're doing these mock exams, that grade could count. Hopefully that's making sense so far. Um, I suppose the other thing here uh, is that if you are doing mock exams, then you won't be resitting the same assessment. And also, um, your teachers can give you feedback. So when they've marked your mock exams, the, your teachers will provide feedback. And also, um, although you might get a photocopy of your exam paper to take away, the original mock exams need to be retained by the school. So you can't do a mock exam, write your own corrections in in class and then take it home. You can only do that on a photocopy of the original paper. So um, to be honest, a lot of the stuff here is not actually that bad. If you're doing more mock exams in school, that's going to really help you prepare for your final summer 2022 exams. Ultimately, if you want to get really good at doing physics questions, then you need to practice doing physics questions or whichever kind of questions they might be. Yes, there are going to be quite a few mock exams, but that's really going to help you prepare for anything that might come up this summer. And I, like I said at the start, I'm still 99.99% .99 sure that normal exams will go ahead as usual. And actually, if anything, you've got a little bit of an advantage with the slightly lower grade boundaries. So as ever, um, if you want to stay updated with the latest stuff, make sure you do subscribe to me on YouTube. Also, you can head over to TikTok and look at Physics Online, where I'm releasing new videos every day between now and the exam period. And also, I'm trying this kind of TikTok shop to see if I can sell some merchandise. So yeah, maybe I'll see you over on TikTok. So um, yeah, basically, loads more exams are going to come up, but that's just the way things are.